if you're seeing me right now or what, but uh, my stream just cut off for no reason before. Don't know what that was all about, so we are in the middle of the Shinra. Um, we're locked down, they locked us up. How are we gonna get out? We'll find out. I don't know what's going on. Why? I don't know why. It randomly told me there was an error and it shut the stream down, so I don't know what that's all about. Uh, sorry. Not cool that I did that. I apologize. This is one of my favorite scenes in the entire game, is after they wake up in a minute. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's very just... It's very creepy. I never played any survival horror games when I was a kid, so the uh, game being kind of scary was, was new to me. I was saying I like Barrett, and it always made me upset. If you saw me before the stream cut off, I was saying I, I like Barrett, and it was always it always bummed me out that they didn't feature his character that much, you know what I mean? Is she nice? I love that everyone keeps asking me that. Uh-oh. Cat fight. Oh. A lot of story here, a lot of story here. This next part is creepy as hell. genuinely scared me when I first played this. I did it open. Music is gonna start to kick in in a minute. Can I open their doors? that music coming in. That's really creepy. Is she nice? Wake up! Those are two separate ideas. They're thinking they had to contend with Shinra to get out of here, and they thought they were going to be the opponents here and all that stuff. And now, and now it's almost like they're bummed to be out of their cells because something is so not right with that. <laughs> no human could have done this, you know. Not knowing anything when you played this was crazy. If you guys remember playing the old Final Fantasy games, you would 
you would you talk to dead bodies and they would always give you a dot 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 it's almost like to let you know they weren't really dead but in this game man the corpses do not talk Fuck this thing, what is this thing? Yeah, it, it, Chileno's got it. You know shit was creepy when they don't change to the battle music. It just stays weird. No victory music. This part really is effective, you know what I mean? The fat jar men. <laughs> Damn. Ripped it out. How will you ever see... He's gotta be carrying this giant flopping corpse thing all around his shoulder, right? Or what? God, come on. What the hell are these things? I don't want to fight these jar shits. Piss off. Following that trail of blood is so wicked. Fuck these things. These things are annoying as hell. Good shit in here. Hey, I'll fight a fucking carrot. I just don't want to fight a washing machine again, frankly. Yeah, the atmosphere of this part is just so good. with the latest stuff. Oh. I 
any materia or anything. this. I uh, something to be said about that. The remix can be cool. It, it'd be fun. But this really is like the best version of it. but I'm always paranoid of that. Okay. so many times the first time I played it that I thought, am I supposed to know who this guy is? Because I really don't.
Yeah, Tifa should have said she should have said she was a bartender. With you. I think the world of Final Fantasy XII is pretty awesome. It's just not really... Yeah, it's just not really elegantly told as a story. I don't know. But I like the world and I, I love playing the gameplay, so I would love to play that game again. Yeah, that, that Charlie Rose interview with George Lucas was really good. I didn't think I was going to get this far tonight, to be honest. I was just going to play a couple hours. <laughs> I was going to stop at the beginning of the Shimmer Building. Yeah, 
right, here we go. This is what I was waiting on. I knew I was gonna be fighting this shit. Some kind of vehicle. Damn, he just broke the glass. A little sled thing to start off. Give him a little mind blow to follow it up. Is the podcast on Sunday six? Yeah. Oh, there's more. It the new time is six p.m. Uh, Pacific. It will always be at that. But I don't know if we're doing one this Sunday or not. To be honest. Everybody a thousand times that it was earlier. after this too or am I crazy? Sense giving you trouble, that must have been what happened to me, because this all shut off a minute ago, like I couldn't connect anymore. To, to stream online or anything like that. So 
little bit of break. Here it comes. Bam. Bam! Is there anything else after this? No? I guess that's it. Seal evil. Okay. Mithril armor. I'll take it. haven't seen it, check out the new Todd and Aaron video. It's up on YouTube now. Oh, that was a good call. Hey guys, what do you think? Do I kill the dog first, or the cat, or whatever the hell that is, or do I kill him? What do you think? Give me your thoughts. Give me your feedback. I want to know the truth. It's funny how you could see the breaks in the partially connected polygons. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> cat dog. Dog needs to die. I agree. Yep. Oh wow, that was easy. hit you with a sword, you shoot me with a shotgun. That's it. <laughs> yeah, the helicopter in background is a nice touch. That's, that's a good observation. There's tons of great touches and detail in this game. That was easy. Shit. Got some good stuff in that, too. Should I go? Right on 
let's save first and foremost. The helicopter is the true super boss. Is that true? Or am I just imagining that? Complicated, here we go. Motorcycle time. On them. This is cool. Okay, now I'm gonna go to that gift shop. It's weird, the controller behaves strange here. See if I can watch this commercial. Where can you watch the damn commercial? Is there a place you can? Am I losing my mind? Can't you can't you watch the TV in here? Outside the shop, maybe it, yeah, maybe it's somewhere else. Maybe I can run back in there. Let's take a look. That doesn't even look like a motorcycle on TV. <laughs> Refugees. <laughs> I'm glad you like that, people, man. Okay. Well, I'm over that. What do you say? Let's move on. <laughs> oh, maybe it's here. Basically, if you've never played the game, you see you can mess with one of the TVs and you see a commercial for the motorcycle. Oh, now that you're not cloud, you can't watch it. Let's get out of Midgar. What do 
you say? Yeah, it's one of those games that you can just, exactly what Voida is saying is, you can just keep finding little details in it. Oh. oh. I remember this cutscene was really cool when I first played it too. Yeah, she's got some balance. You guys saw that, right? Come on. Oh, that motorcycle is pimp. I've got that motorcycle in my, in my room, just the other, just a few feet away. He's driving it up the steps, he didn't give a shit. Do I own any Tifa figs? Yeah, I think I have a figure of everybody. I have them from back in the day, and I have them from recently, too. See how this holds up. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god. This looks like a nightmare. <laughs> Doesn't look much worse than this shitty Kingdom Hearts schmuck thing that you would do between levels. I like their different artwork in the icons uh, by the health cards. That's cute. This part will probably look a little more badass than the remake. <laughs> oh man. That gummy ship shit in Kingdom Hearts, I can't, dude, I can't play that game anymore. Like, I tolerated it when I was in high school, but I can't play it now. <laughs> This looks, I mean, all the ones are clean, you know? I like that their icons are, like, blinking and stuff. That's great. That's a great little touch. So many little touches. I keep saying it, but it's true.
Yeah, this game is low polygon and shit, but aesthetically, it's so much fun. I don't know, I love it. Oh, there's a boss. Back attack. Well, I'm just going to tap the run button. Now it's not a back attack. <laughs> I love that trick. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Arm attack, huh? Attack, as I said a second ago, you just, uh, well, I didn't really say it, so that's why I'm explaining it now. You tap the run, like, you have to hold R and L to run. You have to tap, you have to kind of hold those to go out, you know, to run out of a battle. Um, you tap them real quick and they immediately turn around and then they're fine. <laughs> they're facing the right way. And I don't think that's supposed to be intentional, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Magic I needed it. Wow. You can do that in seven, eight, and nine? Really? I didn't realize that. Oh shit. Oh, it's not good. I've been planning on getting of the, any of the non-player Metal Gear Solid 5 figures, but there's a statue that's coming out pretty soon, and I am going to pick that up. There you go, two limit breaks in a row. Like a statue of him and he's got the chicken hat on, have you seen that?
Do we get a cool cutscene here? I don't even, wow, I don't even remember the aftermath of that shit. Are we out of Midgar? Are we done? Sephiroth is alive. Gotta settle the score. I believe I got this far tonight. That really does surprise me. What time is it? One? Jeez. Now we gotta learn about the ancients. I guess we know some about them already. We're out of here. Are we out of here? We're done with Midgar, right? We're out. Man, I didn't think I'd do that. I didn't think I'd blaze through it. Yeah, the Midgar part is the most iconic. You're right. But it is kind of nice to be out of it, isn't it? want to go? It's when the theme of the game starts to come in. I really like this. I'm going to be nice to him. Should we go? Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Tanner is the leader, as always. Go northeast to a town called Calm. Two parties. It looks like a dog to me. Yeah, Calm is a big story dump. I think we're going to have to save that for another time. Wow. Guys, we made it to the world freaking map. Can you believe that? I did not think we were going to see this tonight. It looks good. It looks so smooth. I remember when I played this on PS1, you would kind of get a little bit of frame rate drop. Right? You, I seem to remember that a little differently. Warm Summer Morning says, I like it just too when Cloud comes clean about a story that's a part where he removes his helmet and the world theme plays. Good shit. I don't even remember that part. Damn, I played seven hours of this game? Huh, that's not too bad. Well, let's get all my shit equipped. All this stuff good? I need to get rid of, uh, I need to give some good materia to other people, not just Cloud. Everybody, I'm gonna save here and then I think that's it for me tonight. I want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in. Whew. I want to remind everybody once again uh, get on shop.mega64.com, pre order our Blu ray box set that finally got reprinted. 
If you never got it before, now's your chance. Pre-order it. Uh, almost, almost 60 hours of content, just under 60 hours of content. It's gonna be great. If you don't have it, get it. If you already have it, thank you. Or support uh, us through Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mega64. Contribute and, uh, you know, we'll get, we'll get it going. We already are getting so many things done because of your support, so thank you very much. Um, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Um, and as always, check out new videos, you know? Check out our Todd and Aaron video that just came out. Um, search Mega64 on YouTube, you'll find it there. Um, yeah, do it. Do it. I think our Mega64 time DVD that we also reprinted last fall, um, or around Thanksgiving, uh, that is down to, like, double-digit copies, or maybe, maybe less, I don't know, so, check it out, I know I already saved, but I just keep doing it, I have to do it, it has to be the last thing I do, anyway, thank you everybody for watching, I appreciate it, it's been fun, happy new year to everybody, hope it's a good new year for you, I might be back on this weekend, I don't know, I don't know what the future holds, so thank you everybody very much. Ah, fuck it. Let's save again. Son of a bitch. It's gonna be the last fucking thing I do, or else I freak out. Fuck! Fuck!